Hey Sophie! Hi, welcome to the farm, come on in. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Uh, I'm a cook, a blogger, a local is lovely, a farmer and a mum. Three words to describe yourself. Curious, creative and hardworking. Talk us through a day in your life. Every day is different but generally I'll put the kids on the school bus and then I might write a blog post, help Tim on the farm, uh, prepare for a lunch or a workshop and then inevitably we'll just collapse on the couch with a glass of wine. What's one lesson that motherhood has taught you? Uh, don't sweat the small stuff. I think if you just love them senseless they'll figure out everything else. What was it like being awarded New South Wales Rural Woman of the Year? Oh, it was fantastic. It was. Um, it was such a great honour. Uh, all my fellow finalists were amazing women and it's just opened so many amazing doors too, so it's been great. What are you currently working on? Well, part of the award process, I'm working on my project called My Open Kitchen, which is a podcast and an e-course that's designed to get farmers inspired and, and uh, connected through social media. What's one place or one thing about Orange that everyone should experience? Uh, well, apart from lunch here on our farm at the kitchen, uh, brunch at the Old Convent in Boronor is beautiful. The best thing about living in the country? Uh, space, peace and quiet, plus we're so lucky, we've, we've got access to news as it breaks, online shopping, podcasts, websites to follow, music, and then we can just turn it all off when we want peace and quiet. What's the worst thing about living in the country, if anything? Uh, every now and then I miss the beach. <laughs> Do you find that farm life has had an impact on your skin? Yes, definitely. Unfortunately, I think a lot of exposure to the sun and squinting into the sun and I feel like I've got a bit of a pigmentation problem. Pigmentation is actually one of the hardest conditions to treat because often the damage that we're seeing on the skin is the result of what we've done years ago. So to treat it, we want to resurface, brighten and hydrate. So give this C12 Pure Bright Serum a go tonight. Oh, great. Thank you. What's the best piece of skincare advice that you've ever received? Uh, drink lots of water every day. That is great advice. It's absolutely vital for skin health. Did you know that the skin is actually the last place that the water goes to? Really? So it's actually just as important to apply active water-based ingredients topically as it is to drink it. What's your day-to-day -day skincare routine? Mm, it's pretty simple. I cleanse in the shower, then I just use a day cream with a sun cream in it and um, a night cream. Your favourite Dermalogica product? Pure night. What's your go-to dish when entertaining? Well, we have a venison business, so I'll say venison with some nice big salads and maybe a fruit and almond tart for dessert. Sweet or savoury? Sweet. Lunch or dinner? Lunch. Dream lunch guests? Mm, Tamsin Carbon, Nigella Lawson, Nigel Slater, Maggie Beer and my husband Tim. In another life, what would you be doing? I'd love to be a florist with Floret Flower in the States. Has social media had an impact on your business? Huge, yeah, it's provided so many opportunities for me. What are your top accounts to follow? Olia Hercules, Louisa Brimble and Annabelle Hickson. And the best piece of advice you've ever received? With them, what's in it for me? People want to know a bit about you, but really they want to know what you can do for them. Thank you so much for having us on the farm. My pleasure, let's have lunch. Can't wait. <laughs>